Hello, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Firhat and I'm the PSLE Science Specialist here from the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of electricity. I've put this question in a handout and you can download a copy for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. Let's get started. The diagram below shows a circuit card with six paper clips A to F. And these paper clips are connected with either material R or S. R is an electrical conductor, while S is an electrical insulator. Usually for a circuit card question, we will look at the situation where the bulb lights up. So we know those two points tested, for this case points A and B, are definitely connected by wires, forming a closed circuit, allowing the bulb to light up. For this question, the bulb lights up in four situations. So it may be more useful to look at that one time the bulb did not light up when points D and E were tested. Should these two points be connected with wires which are conductors of electricity? No. So let's scan the four options. Look at this solid line that is, that is connecting points D and E directly or indirectly. Remember, the solid line is material R, which is a conductor of electricity. Should points D and E be connected with a conductor of electricity? No, it should not be. Let's write that down first. Now, points D and E should not be connected with a conductor of electricity as the bulb did not light up. Immediately, we have eliminated three options, options 1, 2, and 3. So we know our answer is option 4. But hey, look at point D and E here. There is a connection. But if you look carefully, it is a dotted line. And the dotted line represents material S, which is an insulator of electricity. So can electricity flow through these two points? No, it cannot. So that leaves us our answer as option 4. But to confirm our answer, let's draw all the points which are connected by the wires at the side. So we already know points A and B are connected by wires. Now points B and C are also connected by wires. Points C and D are connected by wires. And the last two points, E and F, are connected by wires. So, the bulb lights up because there was a closed circuit that allows electricity to flow through when all these points were tested. Let's check with option 4 whether it matches with our working here. Yes, it does. Now, points B and C are indirectly connected with wires. So, that confirms our answer as option 4. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the links on the right hand side. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!